describe your current housing plan. Now, the typical answer that I get when I ask this question goes something like this. Well, Rajiv, I want to be able to live out my life in my own home as long as I possibly can. And then what? Oftentimes I have to ask. Well, I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> to which my answer is that a plan where you're hoping to live out your life as long as you can in your own home possibly is the worst way that you can approach your housing issue. Even though that is the way majority of Americans approach the housing issue. Why? Think about it. What does that day look like when you are challenged by a health event that causes even you to question whether living at home is a good idea or not? Probably not the best day in your life. You either have fallen down, broken your hip, or you had a stroke and you're now functionally compromised, or you have some health condition which limits your physical or mental abilities. Now on that day, you or a loved one, you felt the need to dial 911. And the EMTs came, took you to the hospital, for which you are incredibly grateful. But from this point on, what you're going to be hoping for is not to be transferred yet to another strange and unfamiliar setting where you don't know anyone, everyone's going to be telling you what to do, and you will have zero control over your life. But unfortunately, that's how it typically plays out in the hospital. I mean, the hospital will take a look at newly compromised patients who they suspect are not safe to go back home. They must go to a rehab center, exactly where you were hoping you will not end up. Your hope will be to be able to come back home to receive whatever care you need in the comfort and the familiarity of your own home. Watch The Path to Happily Ever After on public television stations nationwide. To find out when the show will run in your area, visit pbs.org stations or go to pathtohappilyeverafter.com.